Lions have an important role in solving global environmental issues because they have a network of clubs everywhere in the world. We usually look towards business or towards government that they are going to solve the problems. But ultimately for environmental problems, it is you and I and the communities we live in. And I think that's where the special role of community leaders, such as Lions, really comes in. Recently, Adil Najim, an environmental leader who shared the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize, addressed Lions at the United Nations in New York, challenging them to work together to improve the environment. Environmental problems vary community by community. You have to start by saying, what is the challenge in my community? And build up from that. Lions are already tackling environmental problems in their communities. Lions has been actively cooperating with the forestry societies around the country, planting trees in order to heal the land. The wind has blown open the land, and so we're spreading fertilizer and seed and trying to close these wounds. Trees always help the environment. And more oxygen in the air, taking the carbon out. Lions are going green with recycling projects. We collect PET bottles in order to prevent pollution of the environment and nature. If we don't recycle the bottles, it takes four years to decompose. So it's a good opportunity for us to recycle and reuse it again. If the paper is recycled, that means that we don't cut down as many trees. It's important to the planet because of the growing population and we're just running out of forests and uh, natural products. But improving the environment is more than just going green. Blue is the new green. There is a finite amount of water on the planet. If you and I start looking at cleaner water, less use of water, then it will add up at a planetary scale. Lions all over the globe are developing projects ranging from boreholes to rain barrels, each one tailored to their local community's needs. Water is life. When you provide water to where there is no water, you feel very happy because we are serving those in need. This is really for us a pride because the borehole has changed the life of a village. The rain barrel is going to collect runoff water off of your roof, which is going to prevent it from going to the streams and into the bay with pollutants. I'm saving every time I use it and it fills up 55 gallons that I'm not paying for. This is not a one club, one city, one person project. This takes everybody. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We are citizens of a humanity. This is not about simply managing the world that you and I will live in. This is about what is the world we are going to leave behind for our kids.